Ladies and gentlemen, do you know that when we take our medicines, not all of them will be used up in our body? Some fractions of these medicines may come out unchanged through our urine and feces. These pharmaceuticals may or may not be treated during sewage treatment. Moreover, our sewage treatment facilities are not designed to remove them anyway. This is one of the ways how these compounds enter our rivers, apart from when we throw them directly down to the sink or into the rubbish bin. This, this is one of the... In my research, I developed a method which is accurate, reliable, fast, yet able to detect this compound in waters. With the advancement of technology, I was able to use a very sensitive instrument in order to measure and analyze these compounds, although their amounts are very low. In other words, these pollutants in water are only invisible to our naked eyes, but not to this sophisticated instrument. By the way, why do we need to worry about their presence in the first place? Although their impacts to humans is still unknown, but there were studies reported that these compounds, especially hormones, could induce reproductive disturbance in male fish. What actually happened was, fish which are genetically male show some female characteristics. Hmm, will this situation happen to humans? The answer is still out there. In my research, I selected the medicines which are commonly taken by our people. For example, antihypertensive um, medicines, antibiotics, painkillers, and others. Yes, I managed to detect some of these compounds in our rivers by using the method that I have successfully developed. Although the amounts detected are very small, but the long-term exposure may be of concern. This, these findings will definitely benefit many parties. For example, the results will subsequently help water authorities, policy makers to take necessary actions in order to improve our water quality standards in line with the increasing quality of life of our nation. Thank you.